And if that wouldn't have been brick, it would have went through the house. A South Toledo family cleaning up after a car crashed into their house Saturday night. That accident sent three Toledo police officers to the hospital. Here's Fox Toledo Sharia Davis again tonight with where that investigation stands. Allison, a total of four people were brought here to Mercy St. V's last night. Investigators say this is an accident that should have never happened. This is the scene from last night. South Avenue near the trail was blocked off for hours because of this. Toledo police say one car ran a stop sign on Stebbin Street, hitting an undercover police vehicle, causing the TPD SUV to crash into a tree. Investigators say the driver of the other vehicle, 22-year-old Jared Harris, crashed into a home after police say he tried to get away. If that wouldn't have been brick, it would have went through the house like fully. Elijah says he was inside when the car struck the basement area. He says the loud boom caused the house to shake, and when he went to go check on the driver... He said, I'm okay, but he was crying, and he said, just call my mom. If the house would have been wood instead of this nice brick on here, the side could have crumbled in, my, my kids could have gotten hurt. Crystal Terry wasn't home when the accident happened, but when she heard that officers Paul Markshock, Neil Piasecki, and Robert Orwig were hurt in this crash. For somebody to be so out of control, I feel bad for the officer and his family. Terry says the accident did cause a lot of damage to her home, causing the walls to crack, but she's glad her family is okay. Joel Molina lives right next door. He says he tried to help one of the officers who was covered in blood. It's kind of like in the movies. Right? It's like an accident for like a movie that you see a lot of people outside. Just it's, it's really scary. As for Terry's home, she says she's not worried. The basement area will get fixed. As for the three officers, Orwig is the only one listed in fair condition. Marchiak and Piasecki's conditions are unknown, and Harris's condition is also unknown at this time. Reporting tonight, Sharia Davis, Fox, Toledo News.